Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to the first in line of series on how to in workers and resources. Now, how to make money using oil. Right, 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 right. So, we have a random map, absolutely perfectly random, and look what randomness did to us. It made a straight line across the map, and even did a weird, funny thing with the bridges around here somewhere. I just saw some bridges, weird. Weird looking bridges. Anyway, yes, uh, it's, they are exactly here. Right, so, uh, I wanted to show you how to earn money. Uh, with, this is probably the most traditional, basic, and probably even the best way how to earn money in workers and resources. Right, uh, that would be exporting oil. Right, you can do it either exporting crude, or you can uh, use it to process it straight away to something better. Something better being bitumen and fuel. Now, we're gonna be using only basic in-game vanilla stuff. We're not gonna be using any mods, even though I would love to, but no. We're gonna go with basic stuff. First things first, we need to locate the oil field. I already located the oil field here. It's uh, so-so. We have actually two of them. We have here in the north um, northwest of the country, near Soviet border. It has to be a Soviet border, because you need Soviet money. We have some oil there, but a lot of it is underwater, and we don't like underwater stuff. Uh, other on the border, you can see here on the left-hand side, most of them are not either not close to the cities or far away from the border. And then we have a city <coughs> and an oil field around here. Now it's a little bit dodgy the oil field, but it has a couple of good locations, and also it's close by to other oil wells that we can incorporate later on, which we're not gonna do in this episode, I'm just gonna show you the basics. So, let's get started, let's get ourselves an oil field. Right, oil field check. So we have three of them here, we have a little bit, we have a potential for another one, but we're gonna expand if we need to, for now I'm gonna stick to these three. So we have three oil fields here, and we have uh, two oil fields here, and four over here. We're gonna have to connect them all with a pipeline to a refinery. Now, let's place our refinery. Refinery should be outside of the city, hopefully you're gonna have some oil input here, and um, why outside of the city? Pollution. Uh, you're gonna have to transport people over here, and uh, yes, it's gonna be expensive. Try to use your dollars as much as possible because they're gonna be kind of useless in the beginning of the game and I definitely suggest you um, pushing them towards the way of the dodo bird and like uh, as far away from you as possible in the beginning because they are good 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 little source of income in the beginning but la later on well in the later beginning it's not gonna be very useful because we're not gonna need them so let's build these oil fields i'm gonna connect this into pipelines and i'm gonna show you where we are then right the infrastructure is here and we have a power lines yeah i put power lines and i put the crappy ones because this is a representation for you guys you take care of your own economy and this is more than enough for what we're gonna need now these are the regular six megawatt power lines we have it connected we have to start importing electricity and that's about it on the power side we will not have to we will not uh, need anything more than this this is gonna be perfectly fine for this setup in, and uh, including the city, power for the city. We, I have here transformer, in-game transformer, in-game in -game cables. I started building a, a small bus stop here, small bus station actually, not really a bus stop. Refinery is still being constructed and we started on a couple of these bad boys. We need, we need to power everything. So we have uh, from the oil fields here, one, two, we have here three, four, uh, for transformer station, and we have number five here. We're gonna put number five on this side. Actually, I might, I might, uh, I might do it here. I might do it here because it can uh, also help out with the city. So let's start with this. Um, I will place this one, and also, like I said, we're gonna be using only in-game stuff. We have much better transformers elsewhere, so, but I'm gonna start with this one. Usually these, also known as swinging uh, pumps or swingers or whatever you want to call them, they don't need a lot of electricity. They just need, well, electricity. So for every one of them, we're gonna have cable coming in here, cable coming to the tr transformer station, and cable coming, going further on. And we're gonna have, every time we have a 
transformer station close by, we're gonna have to place one of these bad boys. Also, I will not worry about infrastructure for the road, firefighters and all that stuff, that's all up to you. How you wanna set up your own thing, your own tank, that's up to you. Uh, 571, I just want to see what is the difference between, wow, that's a big difference. What about this, a little bit cheaper? Uh, 900, so it's half the price. I think we might pull it off. Let's see if we can pull it off. I will scale this. Uh, first things first, uh, let's have electricity here, we're gonna need the best one. Uh, I will go for the really, really good electricity, uh, ele electricity hoses. Uh, like Simpsons say, the, we're gonna go for li really expensive ones over here and then we're gonna switch to crappy ones over here. And I'm gonna go for a little bit lesser quality here just to save up some money on this and the worst ones here. None of these things, none of these guys here are gonna require anything better. I'm gonna continue with the metal cables. Uh, let's go all the way here and then the crappy one. And then we can go actually with all all in on the bad cables. And of course we have extension for additional power if we need by any chance. That's it. We just started mining oil. Just so you know, all of these are gonna start pumping any second now. Let me see. And here we go. We're producing. We're producing. We can see that the voltage here is actually kind of medium mediocre uh, but it's still getting all, all powered up so uh, we have no issues with power supply here also we have a separate power transformer for our refinery right next thing uh, we're gonna have to set up our infrastructure for our people people need to be heated people need to be transported to work they need food they need recreation they need kind of this thing called religion i always skip alcohol i will skip in this one as well we'll see actually but i'm gonna show you everything how it goes i'm gonna set up a small town here extremely basic and uh, we're gonna move on right so we have extremely basic infrastructure happening here we have our bus stop we have a transformer station which needs to be connected to the power source i will do that in a second we have our fire station here let's give them a couple of fire trucks well you are running a refinery so you better be ready for that uh, let's go with a couple of ambulances we have a city center here and uh, some like i said quite basic infrastructure um, the supermarket is quite important i would suggest uh, you get the shopping center rather than individual stores a shopping small shopping center is perfectly fine for this kind of this size of town you don't have to go for anything extreme i will pause for a second because it's kind of time would be important or at least it's kind of it's kind of important let's go with kind of uh, we will try to I um, will just quickly try to connect all these uh, power cables uh, to where they're supposed to go so let's see here if we go from here long and then just uh, let's just connect it oh here we go that's the one so we're gonna connect it like this and then i'm gonna go and just give them a little bit more option for walking around because all of this should really really be uh, connected to each other uh, for example let's see here Okay, that was really bad, really bad thing. But um, having all of this connected uh, saves people's time and they can actually do some other stuff like go to work, study or something else. So in this case, we're gonna have a well-connected uh, cinema with this side shopping center. Of course, school is not even part of the of this area here. And let's see if we can do it. Of course not. And let's go this way. Right. So this connects the whole neighborhood, everything around here connects to the bus station. This bus station is going to get flooded f uh, soon. We do have people left and right, they have electricity now. Uh, we have living space. I like starting with towns because you have the biggest capital you can have here and that's your people. I know, I know, I, I know. I know softy but uh, no the the people are the most important you need to be aware that they can run away they can escape they it can go all belly up so don't do it you need to supply your people to your bus stop here so let's go to um road vehicle depot i'm gonna put it somewhere oh, we're gonna need a petrol station as well so let's go for a petrol station you are producing fuel but uh, anyway uh, you should know that by now. 
so petrol station and we need a road depot so we're gonna get go with the road depot here as well let's build those two real quickly and uh, you gonna start transporting people to work right now most of the stuff i believe i haven't missed anything but you have um here let's recap cinema you don't need so many people in cinema uh shopping center you don't need so many people in the shopping center 10 of them would be fine in the beginning you need more workers school as well not important to have so many professors in the beginning you can coordinate that later these kindergartens are quite small i have to say that i would keep that here but 50 doctors highly educated people out of the question five maximum firefighters i would cut them in half as well uh, when the fire starts to burn there's a lesson you must learn something something then you'll see or avoid catastrophe but when the fire starts to burn you're gonna get notification you can always increase number of firefighters they're gonna run to the fire station and automatically they're gonna be helping with the engines and all that stuff um, your buildings around here are becoming a little bit full, so what I would like to do at the moment, I will go, I would go and build, build one of the basic buildings in the game. So one of the nice square buildings, is there any mo anything more beautiful than that? I don't think so. A uh, beautiful square building and don't get citizens. You have a lot of citizens in your city, get only citizens when you need them. For now, leave it as it is. This is just so we can... As we continue destroying the houses, people are being moved. They're being moved in these big buildings. So they're going to be moved closer and closer to where e their every need is being met. And that would be the town center. So they have everything here except jobs. Jobs. Uh, we, are tr we love our Skoda 706 uh, RTO luxury. Amazing, fast, 85 kilometers per hour, but we are trying. We are talking about volumes here, guys. We are transporting huge amounts of people, and we're gonna do this by the numbers. You have an option. This is not a mod. Create your own list. Create your own lines. Name it. Um, oil industry. Uh, oil industry bus. They would understand this straight away. Uh, you will uh, know what it is as soon as you see it and you're gonna be transporting people from here to here first uh save this and assign buses but we need to stop doing something in the beginning this is really important don't forget it because you're gonna lose a lot of people because of this uh you need to forbid them for highly educated people to come to work here we don't need them in the beginning we will not need uh, anybody except basic and uh <clears throat> um, basic education and no education people they can go and work in the uh, refinery and they can start producing oil here we go we have our first production right uh, so uh, just basic things absolutely basic then I'm gonna they're gonna go and refuel and uh, we're gonna wait for the first workers to come here I will join you then just to speed things up there's no harm in making a faster way or square streets for your workers and all that stuff so we have right angles streets perfect shortcut from here to here I'm not even sure if that's a shortcut probably not but there's options okay as soon as we get first workers we're gonna come back as the night approaches our first buses are arriving they should be full of people 73 workers first one and 12 workers the second one uh, I will show you real quickly how it looks like uh, we have shortcut here as well for our workers so they can be fast going to work they all gonna go to a refinery and our oil production will explode you will see drop in the capacity of our oil uh, and that's all gonna be processed into the bitumen and the fuel right next stop exports right exports so what did we he did here so we built a little pumping oil fuel unloading station so that's the one you can find here in the pipeline section uh, that's the one that you have to enter through one side and exit through the other one automatically pipe was assigned and we built a little circle around about here why is this good because trucks are gonna be queuing up here and they're gonna go all the way around actually this is a little bit bad because everybody's driving on the right hand side so they're gonna be blocking each other if there's a queue of trucks trying to export oil now we produced a little bit of oil you can see that there's more fuel than bitumen we produced a little bit of um, derivates so uh, you can see here that 100, for, for 250 tons of oil 
transforms into 200 tons of bitumen and fuel. A little bit more fuel than bitumen. Actually, that's two thirds, three, uh, three to two, three. Three times fuel, two times bitumen. Uh, sorry, that's five times fuel and three times bitumen. This is the odds. So five to three. So let's go and make our first uh, export. First export is gonna be with oil tankers. We're gonna go for. We said five to three, so we're gonna buy eight vehicles. So we're gonna go and export one of them first. I'm gonna pause just so they are kind of paste or separate. Uh, they're they're kind of. Um, doing their own kind of voodoo. Uh, we have here, I have, I caused an issue here for some reason. I'm just gonna assign back this bus to this line because it's out of line. Let me just see if we have, yes of course, everybody else was transporting workers, highly educated workers and uh, unfortunately for now we don't need that we will change that quite soon this is the second tip and the last tip we am gonna give you concerning the good start you're producing your oil the only thing you need to do out of from your oil now just make that money make those vladimirs okay so we're gonna create a line we have a new line which is gonna be go to the pumping station and go to the border crossing simple as that we're gonna repeat that twice so they're gonna go here they're gonna be waiting until unloaded and they're gonna be waiting until unloaded here we're gonna call this uh, fuel fuel export soviet uh, there we go uh, let's try to uh, yeah, i like to name uh, i like to name all our exports or whatever we name uh, our lines with what they are doing in this case this is fuel related industry and i'm gonna go and assign five different trucks to this remember five to three is how much we're producing um how much we're producing uh bitumen compared to fuel this is just so your refinery and internal capacities are maximized you don't have to do this you can just randomly put them to export whatever you want but at one point they will export too much of one stuff and your uh, storage is going to get clogged because you're going to have full storage of fuel and bitumen cannot be produced because both of those things they have to be processed at the same time and we're going to create a second line so let's go one more time and we're going to create a second line connecting our pumping station or fuel loading and unloading station we're gonna call this uh, bitumen export soviet you can probably name this much better than i can and you can also tell them that they can wait until loaded and wait until unloaded you can save that and you can assign the last three trucks i know by heart that these are these three and we can send them straight away uh they're gonna be assigned to bitumen i'm just gonna check that we correctly assigned the other one for fuel other one is not assigned to fuel so he would be exporting both fuel and bitumen and uh, off we go let us speed this up because this is more or less everything that needs to be done you have to bear in mind a couple of things first highly educated people are important to well educate the rest of your population also one other thing i forgot to put in here and that's heating all the buildings need heating and everybody needs heating we're gonna build a simple heating infrastructure it's not expensive and it's gonna save lives uh, be back in a sec actually i can demonstrate this we're gonna go for a normal big heating no we're gonna go for a normal small heating plant it's gonna be perfectly fine for this we're gonna be importing coal and it's gonna be close enough to our bus stop that people will just be able to get in and out quite easily we can do it even here just to be a little bit further from the city we're gonna pay this with rubles that's perfectly fine uh, we can uh, we need then one heat exchanger we're gonna go for small heat exchanger we're gonna heat most of the buildings here and the heat exchanger too many connections uh, it's turned around in this direction so let's see if we can plonk it somewhere so it's correctly turned here we go this is perfectly fine i'm gonna use dollars to build the pipelines i always build too high one two let's see if this is gonna agree with us it agrees with us 
and we gonna go and create our first one two our first pipeline this is ugly as hell but guess what guys it's gonna be extremely functional we need to import coal unfortunately we are not uh, we are not mining any coal at the moment, but we're gonna have warmed coal is not expensive You're gonna be earning much more money than um, the, From oil than you're spending on, on your coal. So there we go This is the basic setup all the buildings should get hot now. They're gonna be warm There's no more cold even though it's April Temperature is getting up, but still in the winter you would have issues. So we have our oil field we have our electrical infrastructure, we have our pumping stations and our pipes, we have the rest of the electrical infrastructure, we have small vehicle depot, we have a, um, the petrol station, we have a heating infrastructure, we have bus stop, we have exporting infrastructure for, from our refinery, and we have basic town uh, facilities in here. We have cinema, we have school, we have uh, kindergarten we have shop are we missing something pub and tavern that's an always a tricky one there's a trick to this pub and tavern uh, they're shortening your people's lifespan it makes them happy but they're living shorter so they're gonna die sooner they want to work less um, I don't give them alcohol I try to employ them all because when they are employed I don't think they think about alcohol that much so employ 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 right Let's see how our exports are going to be coping with this. You don't need any better truck than this. You don't even have any faster truck than this. This infrastructure that you have here is quite uh, bad. These gravel roads allow you to go only 60 kilometers per hour. And you're going to have uh, the whole convoy of trucks. Uh, unfortunately, all of them... It doesn't matter, actually. All of them uh, are full. And you can see on the truck, when you click on the truck, you can see the price of the exports in the rubles. And then you see price of the uh, same price in uh, of bitumen. 2,000 rubles we're going to get for load of bitumen. 1,276 rubles for load of load of fuel so and you can just double that you can just go in your uh, we actually will do that so now most of our trucks are already on the way so we don't have any trucks here so we're gonna do exactly that we're gonna go to our um, oil tankers we're gonna fill them all in and we're gonna do the same math as before now you can just load your fuel uh, trucks and just assign them all one two three four five five to three remember those are the the odds this is how many each of those trucks we have and then we have bitumen exports we have only three now we're gonna have three more one two and three and just give them a little flag so they're on the way and uh, voila we have 16 trucks coming in and exporting good old dinosaur juice Right, actually, it's just a byproduct of dinosaur juice, fuel, and bitumen, but that's about it. You can see here our money already going up, and uh, you can triple this. I would go more than 24 trucks because this is a basic infrastructure. These trucks take time to fill up, and you're gonna have a backlog of trucks here sooner or later. Sooner or later, they're gonna blo start blocking each other, and it's gonna be too slow. If you need to have more than 24 trucks coming in here, just build a freaking railway. That's not that's not hard. You can just save money, but voila, you're earning money. Your population should be going up, which we're gonna check as well. So if we go for citizen equipment and go uh, town hall, and we're gonna build a basic town hall around here. Bam. Um, it's not the cheapest thing ever, but still, we can afford it. And beautiful night falls on our test little Soviet Republic. Okay, here we go. As soon as we get 15 workers, we're gonna be able to show stats what's happening in the city and surrounding areas. So we have, for now, birds 2, that's 10. That's happening in the winter. We're gonna be losing some people. Some of them are not on electrical grid. I would definitely suggest because we have capacity to destroy all the houses. They will be moving to other available real estate. I'm gonna do that by the morning and see you then. 
Here we go. Uh, we removed most of the buildings in the suburbs. It looks like a war zone now, but uh, we don't really care. Uh, we can just notice here that a lot of people moved into our buildings in the town center. And that is actually what is important in this case. Uh, that they are living close to the, all the amenities that they need uh, for easy living. And uh, that's about it. Let's see how we're doing. We are running out of oil. We have so much fuel and bitumen that it's up to you. I, I don't know what to tell you now. This is the money. You just have to sell all of this and you're fine. One other thing I would suggest, one other thing you need to have the full circle enclosed on the whole production and that's university. I will definitely suggest you using mods. I will not do it this time, but I definitely suggest that you should start using mods as soon as possible because they're really, really good mods on this on this map on this in this game so I'm gonna put this university over here it's gonna be built in dollars it's not gonna be enough for them to pay this off so we're gonna as soon as they use all the dollars we're gonna switch to rubles and we're gonna finish the university I will just give it a really nice connections to both sides of of the map so let's go for one over here and let's see if we can get one connection right over here. So they have a little bit easier access to the university. Of course, you can play around with those pathways and just make uh, life easier to your uh, for your workers. You can stop now production in dollars and finish it. Actually, it's still, we still have some dollars left. And we can finish it in the rubles later on as soon as we run out of dollars. We have some dollars left, but here we go. We can finish the rest of it in rubles. Rubles are not going to be a problem if you continue exporting your oil, if you continue making your people happy, and if you continue supplying them, supplying the refinery with workers. Bear in mind, you're running out of oil. Uh, there's, You cannot run out of oil, but your production can exceed your supply so your production is much higher than your supply and you have to find new sources of oil i don't have to teach you how to do that <laughs> this is why the episode is here you have other oil fields start tapping into them start transporting oil any means necessary you can use chains you can use trucks you can use pipelines whatever you seem f uh, you deem fit okay let's wait for a few months and let's see where this gets us Okay, I increased our number of trucks to 24. We have altogether uh, 16 fuel exporting trucks and 8 bitumen exporting trucks. Now, that's really not how it's supposed to look like. Uh, it's supposed to be 9, 15, and 9. So, I'm just going to assign one of them back to bitumen exports so we can keep equal exports of both fuel and bitumen just wanted to upgrade you on the numbers we have one ten one thousand thirteen people living in this town it increased by seven since i'm monitoring this but uh, you can see it increasing i just wanted to show you our statistics we have 24 births 23 deaths a little bit more births and 84 educated people 1016 17 people living here and we have uh 84 educated workers. We're gonna see how our education goes. You can see here our basic education as well, but uh, we're gonna see what the statistics, statistics are gonna say in a couple of months. We have a little addition to our <laughs> driving park. It's a little fuel supply line that I implemented just to see what's the extent of profits we're gonna get after a few months of running this simulation. So his job is only to load all the fuel he can and then unload all the fuel. So just we stop importing actual fuel. He's gonna be done with his work in a few minutes and he's probably gonna be just chilling in the petrol station until we load all the fuel. Anyway, uh, back to waiting for a few months. And here we go. Just over three months later, it's 24th, 25th of May. Uh, let's see the statistics. Let's see what happened. We are full of oil actually. We have a lot of oil, not, we're not really full. I corrected the lines, we have 15 fuel exports, 9 bitumen exports, our petrol station is full, we have a truck even waiting there, so we're not losing any money there. So let's see what happened in the meantime, I transported some of the people and just removed some of the roads, let's see statistics, how did our town do? I increased number of employees in the university, just if we can get any more professors, I moved um, just high school, edu uh, sorry, college educated people, not professors, and um, I 
I inc moved some people from these houses into the building that we constructed here. We still have some space. You can see here in statistics that we have adults over 21 living with parents still at zero. That means that we have living space around here. Population. 1111 that's more or less about 10 percent increase now unemployment is 84 but i have to say that that is people that living outside of range of kindergarten and that's quite few of them so we can't really i, I would have to move them all closer or build kindergarten here and, or but then i would have to connect it to the city better and all that good stuff but we're gonna stick to the statistics that we influenced actually 88. Uh, we got four college graduates, but I'm pretty sure that most of them are supposed to get degrees quite soon. So we got four of them. Uh, we have around 10, 7, 8, 9, 10 percent increase in our college educated people. And we have basic, uh, sorry, high school educated people. And our basic education is about where it was before. I think this is a healthy society, 10% in population increase despite the deaths, escapes and all that stuff. This is a healthy setup. You will earn money as much as you want. Currently we're earned, earned in two months just over 200,000. Let's quickly check what are we talking about money wise. So let's see last month. This would be month of April. We did have some construction happening and we did lose money, but this month we killed it. Uh, this is the reality how we are operating at the moment. So let's see here. We have imports for Soviet bloc. That would be food. That would be the biggest part next to power. Power and food and rest of them is under 1000 rubles for this month, 27 days of May. Electronics, meat, food, clothes and coal for heating. Coal is quite unsignificant one because it's gonna fall during the summer months and it's not gonna be important while power is the biggest bigger one again you have mods you can even have bitumen power plant in few seconds if you choose so let's see what we did we earn so this month month of 28 days of may we earned 54,000 rubles just under 55,000 rubles of fuel and just over 55,000 rubles in sales of bitumen. You tell me, is it worth it or not? If we waited for a couple of more, more months, they will, all, they will all look like this. They will all look like this. It would be hundreds of thousands of rubles imports and less than, less than uh, 10,000 rubles exports. You would have pure 100,000 rubles a month. With that money, you can start nuclear quite soon. Anyway, this is a small tutorial I wanted to show you about how to build your uh, how to build your oil setup. Shrink your town, use the population. You don't have to import anybody. If you have to import population, I think we could have managed with that as well. But um, I love playing with cities. Okay, questions, guys. I hope this helped. Leave any questions in the comment section. If I made any mistakes, I do make them all the time. I do apologize for that, point them out, I want to learn on my mistakes, so anyway, hope it helps, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you didn't by now, and see you in the next one, bye bye.